We just got in from the lake swimming and Lyra decided Zebra was cold too and needed to get in some clothes. So, she's giving him his own pair of shorts, which are a pair of her underwear. Well, should these be his? Do you want to go cut a hole in them for his tail? Sure. <laughs> I'm gonna go show dad. I like big butts and I can't deny. Hey guys, I'm going on the boat and we are, uh, me and my cousin Elise, we're gonna jump off the boat together, but that's after she goes tubing. Are you going to tube? Nope. You should. I practice the ukulele while they go on the boat. Oh, that works so much easier. Now my nail is filed. So I'm trying to learn to play the ukulele. Yeah, that's about all I have. Now the theme is um, underwater animal. Uh -huh. I'm gonna draw a scary shark. Mm -hmm. Can you tell that this is a jellyfish? Yeah. yeah. We're drawing her lunchbox. Now you get to draw underwater creature. The other day was my uncle Paul's birthday. So let's start the video off by saying happy birthday. Here's a cake we baked. Kinda. Since we weren't able to happy say happy birthday, birthday in person, we decided to, to say it 80 times happy in other languages. Happy birthday to you. At least to the best of our ability. Birthday. If we butcher any of these languages, we apologize. And if you could let us know, that would be great. Zoriana. Zoriana. So this is how sometimes we'll say happy birthday in Brazil. Or Jamaica. So here's some flour. Now say the birthday person is standing right here. Throw the flour in the air. And that's how they'll say happy birthday. Happy birthday, mommy. <laughs> yeah, it's not my birthday. Felix anniversary. Shangri Kali. Kali. What is it? Kali. Again. I think it's Kali. If we put your in the languages, please, please, could let us anniversary. Bonsai. <laughs> Jamanda Mabarak. This is the typical American way of saying happy birthday. Happy birthday! Here's a cake and a present. I love the camera. Love this for no deep. Be uncle Penelo. Sing my gosh, rah rah. Alright, so we're doing an eight chef scavenger hunt. So. Let's go to the Gimtan. Oh, Gimli! Kind of. Gimtan the Rian. Thinking real then then. Salamat, Harry, Lemme. If we butcher any of these languages, we apologize. Moana! If you could let us know that I would be great. So this is what they do in Russia. Instead of baking a cake, they bake a personalized pie. That kind of sound like rolls together, so it's Siam Siam Rosalina Rosdenia. Math! 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 It does end in math. The heat was getting to us, so we moved inside. Will you do um ten pan ton? We're decorating! Totis, da da, da ba da bin. Totis, pa fu da sa. You da da. If we butcher any of these languages, we apologize. If you could let us know, that would be great. Mubora. Mubora. Mm. Well, that was one way. So, what's another way you say happy birthday? If we butcher any of these languages, we apologize. And if you could let us know, that would be great. Oh, we could have gotten Auntie Julia's parents to help us. Happy birthday! Don't you want to wait for everyone? I don't want to be rude. In Italy, it's common to give a gift, like America, but you have to open it right away because otherwise it's considered rude. 
Okay, there then. <laughs> well, I know one way we'd say happy birthday. That's kind of, you know, a darker way. You're one day closer. Is you have the Okay. Now, I'm going to Then, Gibber's dog. Gibber's dog. Now the Chinese, they often will make a dish for birthdays and so instead of like birthday cake or something like that, they'll present the birthday boy or girl with a bowl or a plate of something called longevity noodles. It's just really long egg noodles because it symbolizes a long life. And they can't cut the noodles while they're eating. If they cut the noodles, they'll have a shorter one. Yep. So, see? They just make some really long noodles. And they what put them in a bowl. What if they make really short noodles, they, though? And they place the bowl of noodles in front of them. What if they make really short noodles, though? Well, that's very mean of them. Malcolm that in Milan said... Bon anniversary. Anniversary. If we butcher any of these languages, we apologize. And More if you could it. let us know, More that would be great. Someday, someday. Ikoala. Li. Li. Gui. Li. Lam. Li. Lam. Beber. Pretty sure I mispronounced that. Emily. Amagaza. Happy long leaf Happy, happy long leaf Happy long leaf If we would learn any of these languages, we would apologize. Joya. If you could let us know, that would be great. Tristan. Rodan. Rodan. Desam. Blos. Laun. Dit. Tristan. Rodan. Banna. Bwa. Yeb. Ba. Bwam. Mbim. Bwa. Ebok. Abiyala. Fang. Fang? Right, he's the last dragon! Bamba? 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 Maligaya? Karam. Karam. Joya. Joya anniversary. Joya anniversary. Bon complain. Complain. Kim Nanyo Al Aya Lu Aspera. Alas. Good. Ale. Good. Ale. Ale. Good. Don't give us that. Nata. You know, it's great. Jam. The wasani. The wasani. Bad hay. Bad hay. You could ask Kristen Leslie how to pronounce this. How are they love? How are they love? How now? Yum. Who would do? Samika. Salamit. Long. Long. Tahan. Tahan. Oh, Tanjabu. Omeda. Oh, Tanjobi. Omedeto. Amuli and I guess. Hata, Habad, Hardik, Kurdish. Be sure to check them out and then this clip will make a lot more sense. Rosjana de Pirofi. Ah, thank you. Just to recap, in case if you uh, didn't see the episode before this, we are making food and drinks. Uh, as a challenge from different movies. These recipes are from our heads. We just come up with them because we weren't able to discover any recipes. We also were getting some help from um, different channels. We are doing food from Ice Age, released in 2002. And we, at this point, started uh, finding it tricky to find movies and uh, certain foods and whatnot in the movie to make or mimic. Um, so we started to do movie inspired dishes. Um, so Ice Age 2002, good movie. We are going to be doing a toasted acorn. And if you've seen Ice Age, you understand the acorn. My mom is making me eat something that tastes, looks, 
and smells like an acorn and is called an acorn. What's it made with? Squash. <laughs> I do not like squash. How does it taste? Is that your first thumbs down? It doesn't taste bad. It's definitely not one of my favorites, though. No, that is a definite no. Next up, we have James and the Giant Peach, released in 1996. Another Disney movie. Uh, this one's rather uh, cut and dry, very simple. Uh, we're doing a peach. Lolo. You gotta get the juice. Oh, yeah. You, just, you ruined your whole glass of milk. Oh my gosh. Still tastes good. Yeah. I get it. What? But it's good. I like peaches. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's plenty of decoration. It's also, if you say Anna, it's Anna. Sambe. Sambe, sambe. And you're gonna eat an apple. <laughs> that was like a combination of Spanish and Serbian. Um. Yeah. 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 Are we going on a yacht? Why don't we start a new band? Gibberish Dog. Little <laughs> Don't look into the light. Much didn't know I was a flexible guy. Happy birthday to the sardines. Sardines? Happy birthday! Isn't he like pretty? Lyra put him in a salon. This is Mr. Crumbs. Our we're auntie. babysitting him. Yeah, we're babysitting him. I apologize if I messed up these languages. 